Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I wanted to talk about the, the Rick and Michonne show, and I really wanted to focus on some news that kind of came out today. It's unofficial, so it seems like it's just a rumor as of now, though it does seem very, very legit. And yeah, I kind of wanted to give some thoughts on this, and then I wanted to talk about the finale to the season and just give some predictions, but also based off of the casting, really talk about why it does seem like there's likely going to be a season two. I mean, I don't know, based off of this casting, like it just seems like this show's first season, or if it's not a first season, then just the, the six episodes, like these are going to be some very powerful episodes here. So anyways, before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get more walking to content like this. And if you haven't yet, definitely go follow me on Twitch. My, my Twitch channel is Appetite for the Dead. I'll be live later on today talking about all of this stuff. And also I mentioned him yesterday, but my brother actually is creating a Twitch account and, uh, uh, he's like very very close to 50 followers like he's right now actually he's at 43 so some of you guys actually did go and follow him yesterday so first of all thank you guys so much for that i really do appreciate that but it would be very nice if we could actually get him to 50 followers so as of now he's at 43 so just seven more followers i think we could do that right but anyways i'll leave a link in the description if you do want to go and follow him we'll probably be streaming later on we'll be streaming some games i think we'll be doing some Mario Sunshine and Demonologist, some Phasmo, something like that. You know, I'll definitely be doing a Walking Dead Q&A later on today as well, talking about all the stuff that did come out today, at least the non-spoiler stuff and everything. So I saw this online actually from at Portal Walking. I just saw this, this post here and I guess there's some news out there regarding some casting and filming and, and there's some stuff there. I never really looked too much into it, but apparently Terry O'Quinn is going to be playing Major General Beal in this show and i've looked into it a little bit more it does seem like it is legit and i think you know if this casting is right like this is this is mind-blowing first of all everybody knows him from lost right it's a show i've never watched i've always been meaning to watch it like i know people over the years have said you have to check out that show like it's amazing and i've always I've heard from Gimple a lot, like not personally, I'm just saying online, like I've seen interviews with him where he's talked about Lost and he's really liked that show. And so to me, it just makes a lot of sense that, you know, for this show, for the the big villain, the big bad of the Walking Dead universe, you're going to get somebody like Terry O'Quinn. I've looked up some scenes. I've seen some interviews with him anyways, where he's like watching scenes and stuff. And yeah, very incredible actor. I think this is honestly perfect casting, like just perfect. If this is Major General Beale, I am like, I'm so hyped for this. I think he's the perfect actor to be able to act opposite Andrew Lincoln to make it feel like this is something that is going to be really big. And I mean, I like the fact that it's kind of sticking with within the TV show universe as well, because you have Terry O'Quinn, who was a part of Lost, which is like, at the time, one of the biggest shows out there. And so you have The Walking Dead now, you know, so the big or one of the biggest shows around right now. And I think it's just it's amazing. I Honestly, I think this Rick and Michonne show is just going to be mind blowing for everybody. I've seen some other spoilers out there, and I know I've been seeing some people wanting me to talk about it i'm not gonna get into stuff like that like the, the thing about spoilers is that i just i don't like being the one to spoil stuff like that like if the episode's officially released and i have to review it sometimes things like that can be tricky because sometimes things in the thumbnail or the title can you know spoil some of that and so i try to like i try to do my best there and the thing is in those situations i mean the episode's already released right so people people can watch it people are already watching it and it's a little different than stuff that is just sort of leaking out there and that's the stuff that i don't necessarily really want to want to talk about like i've seen some stuff out there like I, I know of it but like if unless it's officially released then i'll kind of wait with this situation here this is more of a casting thing and it's more of a rumor right now anyways so i figured yeah i'll just talk about this it's sort of the same thing with the, with the jadis thing as well like this stuff i find is, is like totally cool to talk about because it's just it's just casting rumors kind of thing right but like story stuff that's definitely like i stay away from that i try to not be spoiled of that like i actually try to stay away though sometimes it is very hard it is very tempting because you you just want to get excited about stuff and man there is a lot to get excited about with this show like there is so much to get excited about with this show and like i said if terry o'quinn is actually playing uh major general beal and they confirm this i i think this is epic casting i don't know when they're going to come out and confirm the casting my guess as of now is it's going to be comic-con i think things right now are you know obviously the hype is building right now they're they're wrapping up here with, with the show Comic-Con is in a little over two months. I think by then, we're going to get a trailer for sure. It's going to be a teaser trailer. I think we're going to get a bunch of casting announcements and then a release date, which is probably going to be like February 2024 or like 
March, April 2024. Like a year from today, I believe we'll have watched all six episodes or maybe we'll be on like episode four or five if it premieres like next April sort of thing, right? But for some reason, I keep feeling like this show is going to be coming out in February or something. I don't know. It really depends as well because if The Last of Us Season 2 is coming out next January or if it takes that release date, I don't know if they're going to air the show alongside that. Like a lot of a lot of the bigger shows like that like to try to avoid each other because, yeah, there's no sense in competing with each other. Like there, it really makes no sense. Just like air once that show is over. This way you have more people watching, right? So if if it does, we'll have to wait and see. But I, I still think that, yeah, for some reason, I feel like this show is going to be coming out like likely in March or April. If I had to guess, I'm going to stick with April. I was thinking February originally. But I don't know, something tells me that the show is going to be an April release. And yeah, I mean, for the time being, it's just going to be, it's going to be brutal to have to wait for this. Like, it's really going to be really brutal. And I was just thinking about it. You know, if Terry O'Quinn is actually playing this character, just based off of the casting and stuff, like, I just can't imagine this show only being a, a one season thing. I think that is, that's, that's crazy. You know, you have all of these bigger characters like this, you you know, like this show is going to be so massive for it to be just six episodes and that's it. I just don't think it makes a lot of sense. Like, I think you have a chance here to make this finale crazy epic and to honestly make this villain really iconic. And I, that's the thing with Major General Beale. There's a lot of potential here, um, especially with the casting. Like, I just think with this character, you could make it where he is literally like the number one villain of The Walking Dead. Like, I know people will argue the governor, and there's also Negan. I would throw Alpha in that mix as well. I do think Alpha definitely is is a very iconic character, but I guess, you know, a lot of people will, they'll bring up the ratings and I guess the viewership for the show and stuff. And, you know, at its peak, Negan definitely was there. And the anticipation for that moment and just th the whole scene there in general, I would say, yeah, you know, like he definitely was one of the, the best villains. I'd say now he's obviously not necessarily a villain, but the whole villain debate is, is it does get tricky, you know, when it comes to like Negan versus the governor, like, who do you prefer? Who's the better villain? And you could say that the governor is the better villain because he was outright just plain evil, right? Whereas Negan, like he was that, but obviously we saw him eventually sort of redeem himself. And there is, I don't know, there's more of a gray area there, I'd say, with him. But with Major General Beale, just because he's the head of the military of, of the Civic Republic, I think there's so much that you can do here with that character. You could really have some iconic scenes. You could have some really crazy stuff here with that character. You could build up such an epic story, you know, to the finale. And, and, and I've been saying this for a long time. You could end the finale on a really, you know, crazy cliffhanger that really does set up a season two. I just think, I, I think you kind of, I don't know, like, again, if Terry O'Quinn is playing Major General Beale, I feel like it would be a waste just to have him for one season. Like, I think you could totally do two seasons of this show. I'm just, I don't know, like, just based off of this casting here, you know, there's a lot with this CRM story. There is a lot that they are building up here. Um, It just seems too, too crazy to wrap it up in six episodes. It really does. So I personally do believe there is going to be more than just one season. I think there's going to be two seasons for sure. There could be three seasons even, but that's sort of where my head's at right now. I think there's just a lot here for just six episodes. It's it's like, I don't know, like, I just don't see how how that can really be a thing. And that's also something that I will say as well, you know, like maybe it's it's being kept secret, but I mean, and it also hasn't happened yet, but I think they are going to be filming the final episode very soon. And so if they're filming it at some point this month and it, it wraps up, say early June, that's going to be really telling if we don't see Daryl or like any other cast members like Judith and RJ on set at all because that basically tells us there was no reunion and you can't end Rick and Michonne's stories without that. So I feel like that kind of confirms that there's going to be more than one season, right? So I just, I'm ex I'm so excited for this story. I'm so hyped for, for the finale here of, of this show. I really cannot wait to see where they're going to be going here. I just, I, I'm, again, I think this show could honestly be even better than The Walking Dead. Like, just the hype going into it. I know there's going to be a lot of stuff in the first, you know, however many seasons of The Walking Dead with Rick and Michonne. Obviously, they were a part of that show that people will bring up. But, like, it, it, it honestly, like, if they can handle certain things right, there's going to be a lot of better moments. And even if it's not better, like, it's going to be on par or it's going to be the best things that we've ever gotten with The Walking Dead basically since 
like season four and five. You know, like I think the hype for this show is just unreal. And it's 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 crazy because some stuff comes out here about this show and Rick Grimes and Michonne are trending on Twitter. Like it's just it's crazy. It's honestly crazy. Like the power that these two characters have. <laughs> like I just I, I I have a hard time believing it's just gonna be one season. Like I I really do. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, if this casting is real, you know that's just a rumor right now. But if this ends up being real, I think this is just perfect. I think he is perfect to play Major General Beale. Um, I mean, he's supposed to be playing Mason's dad. And, uh, I mean, I think the casting works, you know? I also wonder if we're going to get some reaction to that or maybe... I mean, I guess it depends on the timeline and stuff like that. But Mason died, right, on World Beyond? So what's going to happen there? Like, Major General Beale is going to be pretty upset. So I just... Yeah, I'm excited to see where this is all going to go. But I'm going to leave it here. Definitely post your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.